Sunday, and with everything that has been going on, primarily all of the moving stuff, I am exhausted and behind. My house feels dirty, and my house doesn't feel like my house yet, and I feel like I need a good Sunday reset here at my place, just me. I have had so many friends and family, Alicia and my boyfriend, all coming over and taking turns spending the night and trying really hard to make it feel homey. But in an effort to make it feel homey, I've had so many people over that I haven't had a chance to just kind of be here and be in my space and kind of just like make it mine. Today is gonna to be a very intentional time of doing that. So here is a fun little Sunday morning reset. I am going to focus on cleaning, on organizing a little bit. I'm mostly just kind of like starting this routine. <laughs> found this place I originally was thinking oh coffee on the patio so I've been trying to be very intentional about starting my days outside when I can today I'm just kind of making a list of things I want to get done today and how I'm feeling and what I'm grateful for okay now it obviously would not be a Sunday morning reset if we didn't do some kind of skincare ritual we love a good skincare routine but on sundays we go hard today's video is sponsored by belief who sent me this absolutely adorable little skincare kit um which was honestly perfect timing because all of my stuff is still very much packed away i don't know where anything is so thank god for this belief believes in telling the truth and having truthful skincare and i cannot express how much that makes me just want to like support and get behind them so let's go ahead and get into this we have the Belief Aqua Balm Jelly, the Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner, the Chew Cream Moisturizing Balm, and the Moisturizing Eye Balm. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. This is an intensely hydrating jelly textured cleanser that gently removes makeup and impurities. Here we go. It's cooling, which I like. I always like that cooling feeling in the morning it kind of helps wake you up kind of feels like you're taking a huge drink of water moving on to the next one this is the aqua balm hydrating toner and we're just going to kind of gently apply this all over initially what i love about this is it doesn't smell too strong that one was very light and felt very good on like probably sensitive skin i feel like i would definitely recommend this for that now this is the one that i'm probably most excited about this is the moisturizing eye balm lasts up to 26 hours and boosts elasticity yes please now what i love the most about this is i've used under eye creams in the past and they're so thick and they look so bad underneath makeup this however feels very lightweight very bouncy again there's a little bit of a cooling effect love that your under eye is such a delicate area so any kind of hydration is incredibly good for it and then finally we have the true cream moisturizing balm there's definitely like a common denominator here all of these products i'm not kidding every single one of them is very lightweight it's extremely refreshing not overbearing doesn't feel oily or thick Mm-hmm. Wow. 
Love it. I'm a really, really big fan of this brand. I love how light and airy and breathable it is. And guess what? Now is the perfect time to stock up on all of your favorite belief products during Sephora's VIB sale. There's Sephora VIB Rouge, which is October 28th through November 7th, which is 20% off. There's the VIB sale, which is October 31st through the 7th, which is 15% off. And then of course there's the Beauty Insider sale, which is the 4th through the 7th, but that's only 10% off. Still a great deal, but guys, VIB Rouge is 20% off. That is totally worth it. I of course will have the links to all of the products in my description box below. So definitely check them out and a huge thank you to Belief for sponsoring today's video. Here is a cute little glimpse of the guest room so far. We are nowhere near done, <laughs> um, but it is looking so good. I've had a few people stay over here and they said the bed is very comfortable. So love that for Casper. The comforter set I actually got from Target. I believe I showed this in a vlog, but this is the Hearth and Hand collection. This is one of their comforter sets. And I personally, I've started to really hate duvet covers. There's a lot of effort and work that has to go into them and it's just too much. I have gone back to comforters and I'm really happy with it. Wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? I ended up going with this gray white mesh color. Um, I think it's going to be best for the dogs. Um, wet paws, muddy paws, Rosie's black hair. When she's over, I feel like this is going to be the best possible fabric. Ah, I'm tired. Well, there you go. It's not like flattened into place yet. Um, I'm gonna have to like sit there for a minute for it to really flatten, but I love the coloring of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a white gray woven material and I think it's gonna be perfect for that one right over there. much later uh you know what sometimes sunday resets are for productivity and sometimes sunday resets are for relaxation i feel like today was just 50 50 of both i got a lot of cleaning done i did some mental health checks took care of myself and now i'm spending the rest of the day just fetching out and watching tv it's funny because like I've moved a few times and I remember it being so stressful and a lot, but this one definitely hit different than all the other ones, especially knowing that like no one else is going to clean the house, it's just me. There's no uh, off chance of your roommate or sister doing it, so it's, yeah, it's been a lot. Still very happy with my place and I think I just really needed 
a day to myself to kind of just catch up and relax. Chloe May, guys, I swear. This window is the best thing that ever happened to her. She'll just sit here on the corner and watch everybody that goes by and growl at them. It's so funny. Anyways, I've been catching up on the Great British Bake Off uh, for the last few hours, and I'm so excited because House of Dragon comes out tonight, so I'm definitely going to be watching that, which means I'm going to be ending the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching and um, enjoying this moving diaries journey with me. Um, can't wait for the next one. Love y'all, bye.